Hey guys, so I thought I would do my 27 week pregnancy update. I am 27 weeks and 6 days today, so tomorrow will be 28 weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and do this video now. Um, I'm in my room, um, hopefully, so I don't, hopefully I won't have any interruptions or kids or noise in the background. <laughs> um, so... I can spit things out better and not be uh, concentrating on what everyone's saying. But, um, so I had a doctor's appointment today and, um, it was just a normal checkup. I went in, you know, normal, go pee in a cup. And then I always have to, as soon as I use the restroom, I have to go get my finger poked in the lab so they can check my blood sugars. Um, since I am since I have gestational diabetes, um, and, uh, then I went into the room, and they checked my blood pressure and all that stuff, and everything was good, and my blood sugars were good, and I showed them my logs for my blood sugars, and they said that I'm doing really good, and everything, and I t talked to the doctor about, um, about the just a, it was more just to kind of like let him know but I kind of assumed you know like that maybe the baby is turning head down or whatever but I told him that I was having the pelvic pressure but pain with it and stuff and he said it's most likely the baby going head down and I thought he was gonna check but he didn't um so I don't know what that was about because usually they check already by now anyways um and then I told him that I was having what felt like contractions to me since I, I have had two kids already and I know what contractions feel like. So I explained the pain that the other pain that I was having felt like contractions. And he said that it could be because of um like stress or um the heat, since it's been about a hundred in the hundreds, like a hundred to a hundred and four or five recently um I did have them before the heat started I had like one um and it was like only like I don't know 80 degrees or something and and I'm inside all day like I'm a stay at home mom I don't really go anywhere and if I do you know it, it it's to the grocery store or something like it's not like I do a lot and I babysit my niece so I mean we don't do a whole bunch outside stuff and I can't handle the heat anyways, being pregnant or not. Like, I just can't handle it. So, you know, like, the kids might go outside and play, but <laughs> I'll stay inside and I'll leave the thing crack so I can hear them and I check on them every once in a while, but it's... I don't go outside unless I have to, <laughs> really. Um, but it was happening, the pain that I was having was happening... It's happened three or four times. Three that I, I know of, but... Um, for about 30 minutes I will have like these contractions and I feel my abdomen area and it tightens up so I know it's like a contraction and um it will happen every three to five minutes for about a half hour and my doctor said that if I have five of them within the hour then I need to call them even though I felt like in a half hour having as many as I was I don't know I don't really know, but he seemed like it wasn't that big of a deal, but he said that if it happens again, I need to drink two cold glasses of water and then lay on my right side, I believe, and then um, then log my like contractions or something, um, and if, it's, if I have five within the hour um, that are frequent or something, I don't know, then I need to go... I need to call them and come in or I need to go to the hospital or something so I guess I'll just keep an eye on it and then yeah but anyways sounded that it, it sounded like it was fine like it wasn't a big deal so I'm not gonna worry too much about it either I go in uh, again on June 24th they have me go in between two to three weeks because I do have gestational diabetes so instead of three to four weeks I go in two to three so yeah, so I go again this month on the 24th um, at 8.15 in the morning, <laughs> just 
been kind of sucky for me because I don't like getting up that early and my kids sleep until about 9 30 um sometimes even till 10 30 so that's been really really helpful even though I still feel tired after that <laughs> um I've been really tired I've been really emotional but most of all I've been like stressed out or like kind of pissy I guess you could say like any little thing that somebody does says or whatever it can like just make me snap like I'm just mad like I'm in a bad mood um you could rub my shoulders wrong and then I'm gonna be mad like I don't know what it is but I've been kind of just like frustrated and a little bit angry I don't know what that's about so I've been trying to um just be careful with that but it's hard because in the moment like I just want to be mad and I don't know why but hopefully that'll pass um my at-home nurse that I have that comes um just to kind of double check like double check on me comes on this Monday which I believe is the 5th June 15th um she'll come at 2 and she's usually only here like literally for like 10 minutes like she'll ask me how I'm doing and she'll check like my weight and stuff and everything and all like like on the papers that she has from the doctor's office she'll just let me know that I'm doing good and you know like she gives me little papers for like the week that I, like how far like if I'm if she comes I'm gonna be almost 29 weeks pregnant when she when she comes so she'll probably just give me a paper that talks about like what happens in your 29 weeks of pregnancy and she'll give me a paper of like foods that I should be eating and everything like that um it's just really quick she's usually like here at 10 15 minutes at the most but she comes on Monday I also wanted to let you guys know that I asked today um because I wasn't 100% sure what my weight gain was since I since I've went into the doctor's office to let them know that I was pregnant until now and I've only gained 6.2 pounds so um and the last three times I think this might be the fourth time I don't know if this is the third or the fourth but that I've gone in my weight has been exactly the same um which is good but I do know that this is when you do start gaining weight and things like that but to me, I'm like, okay, that's okay, you know, if I gain weight now, because usually I've already gained, like, 20 pounds by now in my pregnancy. Um, with my first pregnancy, by the end of the pregnancy, I had gained, like, 40 or 42 pounds. And with my second pregnancy, I lost 19 pounds, and then towards the end, I had gained that 19 pounds back. So, I still need to watch what I eat, and I still need to be careful, um, because of my blood sugars, and just because I don't want to gain... 19 pounds on top of the 6.2 pounds that I've gained um just because I'm a big girl already and I know I'm gonna have trouble losing the weight after because you got that baby weight and then you already have the weight from just not taking care of yourself in the first place so I'm hoping <clears throat> you know like obviously not right away I can I can't like work out and do a whole lot I will I can do like little things or whatever my body can handle um, but I definitely am going to continue dieting like food wise and then when I'm able to do a lot more um, after the baby is born um, my husband and I have talked about getting a treadmill and you know so I at least can have that so I can have some that you know to just kind of do and whatever but anyways, like, sim symptoms that I'm having, I mean, that's pretty much all the symptoms that I'm having is, like, just being, like, emotional and frustrated lately. Ugh, my youngest is crying. Um, there's a baby gate up in the hallway because my niece keeps going into the bathroom because the handles are just ones you pull down and the door opens. They're not, like, ones you have to, like, twist. Um, so I put a baby gate up and Emily can't get over it <laughs> either, so she's probably crying because she can't get through. So I need to hurry this up. But anyways, yeah, the symptoms. I'm just frustrated a lot. Emotional, angry, um, tired. Um, I've been having a lot of, you know, like cramping or the little contractions here and there. And that's been kind of frustrating. It does make me a little bit nervous because I don't want to have an early baby. Um, so yeah. But let me find a place to put my... I'm just going to hold my phone. It's just way easier. I always say, let me find a place to put my phone. But um, I always end up just holding it. It's just much easier for me to just do that. So, so I'll show you guys my I guess it, my my 27 week um belly. Hold on. So the lighting in here is not great and I'm wearing a black shirt. Let's see. 
Um, I don't know. I guess right here is good. Um, but yeah, this is 27 weeks. Um, my belly is definitely more round. I do have like the love handles and stuff, but this is starting, this sag that I had down here is starting to form into the part of my, the bump. <laughs> so that's been kind of nice. And let's see. Just a second! Um, so yeah, this is 27 weeks, and I'm only gained 6.2 pounds, even though I look like I probably have gained, like, 30. <laughs> um, but I will talk to you guys all later, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment box below, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.